Okay, so I'm here with Stuart, one of Kello's most famous fans. Soon to be, I'm trying to get you into the, the background team for next season, sure I'm Stuart. Aye, yes. So we're going to do the Kello 10 with Stuart. Aye. Okay, you ready for us, Stuart? Aye. Okay. What's your favourite club? Kettles. Favourite player? Uh, Big Dunsey. Big Dunsey? Aye. What's your favourite food? Uh, steak pie. Steak pie? Aye. With tatties? Aye, tatties. Oh, I love that. Mashed tatties are spoiled. Mashed tatties. Mash? Aye. Superb. Extra gravy? Aye. Ah, you're making a man. Favourite place to go on holiday? Tenerife. Tenerife? Aye. Jesus Christ, look out Tenerife, eh? Aye. Uh, what's your favourite other sport? Uh, swimming. Swimming? Aye. Can you swim? Aye, you take day. Have you ever drowned before? No. No? Right, okay, no. just checking. Who's the most annoying player in Keller Rovers? Don't know. Right, right, John. Don't know? No. Just say Costello. Costello. Right, good. Who's your favourite manager? You. Me? Aye. Say John Quinn. John Quinn. Yes! <laughs> are you married or are you single? Single. You're single? Aye. Look out, ladies, look <laughs> out. And when you're in the pub, what's your favourite drink? Dark fruits. Dark fruits? Aye. There we go, superb. Shorty, thanks very much. We'll Aye, catch yeah. you later, pal. Aye, Cheers. But Tony, last... Uh, League game of the season. What's your thoughts on the the, the game as a whole? Yeah, uh, I thought Cardiff's a really good team, um, but I thought first half up until the twenty minute point, I thought we were in the game. Um, there wasn't much in it. Um, we created some chances. The shape was good. We frustrated St Cardiff. They had very limited chances, but we didn't concede um, a goal after twenty minutes. It was, it was a bit of a break of the ball. The ball goes in behind Dylan. He's through one on one with Dunsey and puts it in the net, and then the second goal is a gift, and the third goal as well is, is a gift as well. So, three poor goals to lose, and up until that point, we were, we were very much in the game. Yeah, I think for me, especially, uh, the, the second goal was the most frustrating because it was just a lack of communication, and, and really, it, we should never have conceded there. Definitely, I, I think, especially after, after conceding the, the first goal. And then straight away you can see the second one. Um, we have our, our game management needs to be better. Settle the game down a wee bit um, and take a sting out of it. Some Cardiff's have getting their tail up after getting the goal. So it's very, very frustrating and disappointing to concede the second goal when the manner we conceded it as well. Yeah, and uh, I think that was the the, the third goal coming uh, wasn't too long after uh, the, the second either. No, I didn't. And I, I, I think that kind of killed the game off. It did. Um, it sort of killed killed the game. Um, for us to get back into it, um, our, our shape went a wee bit, and as I said, the game management needs to be a wee bit better. But um, second half, we've come out, we've, we've done a lot better. In the second half, we've competed better, um, we've got closer to St. Caddox and, and, and sort of frustrated them quite a lot uh, in the second half. But uh, to be fair, St. Caddox as well, the game's done, the game's done at half time, uh, 3 0 down, and you give yourself a bit of 
Yeah, I know you had some strong words with the boys at half-time about being competitive, um, but yeah, for me, they certainly were much more competitive in the second half, which is good to show, because we've got a big game against um, Warrington next week. Yeah, definitely. I think um, as long as the boys apply themselves, um, we know that we've got quality in the dressing room, um, and we've got, as long as we've got the hunger and the desire there, then I think we'll compete very well. And it's a great incentive for the boys as well, that if they can manage to, to apply themselves in the, the, the proper way, They'll, um, they'll have a home tie against Clyde Bank. Um, so hopefully we have a good week in training. Um, and it's a one-off game, so you never know what can happen. Yeah, I mean, I, I personally I fancy is against Bonington. I know they've, they've not had the, the best season either in the Premiership, uh, but they certainly look like they've strengthened and become harder to beat the, the latter part of the season. Yeah, definitely. I think I think we've done something like us. Um, when we've come in, we've to try to make a team harder to beat, um, make us more disciplined and, and solid. And I, I think Bonington have done the same um, in the later stages of the season. They've just been consolidating, making themselves difficult to beat, staying in the game as long as they can. And um, the, the recent results have showed that. Yeah, and I know you're you're, you're hopeful for a quite a large crowd um, at in this side just to cheer the boys on and, and try and make it be a bit more intimidating for Bonington? Yeah definitely, I, I think it's important that we try and, I think we said it a couple of weeks ago that we're going to try and do more as a, as a club for the community and I think it's important that the community get behind the club as well um, as a two way street and I think if we can pull everybody together um, you never know what can happen um, and, and the kids and that will enjoy a good day out as well um, I believe that the Easter Bunny's coming so yeah, we maybe have to dress the chairman up as Easter Bunny to give out the Easter eggs, but we'll see how we got on with that one. Yeah, yeah I think you need to chase them down first. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers.